Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Happy Mother's Day for those of you here in the US or for those of you who are celebrating. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We, um, the girls have just popped out for a little while. They've gone to the library to return their books and do some fun things. And so we thought we'd do a quick live craft together because we try to catch up with you every weekend and sort of say hello and do what? bits and pieces. Greg's just popped out the room because he decided he needed a drink. Don't know why in all this preparation that he didn't, you know, think that he needed to get his drink before we went live. But anyway, so I do think I would show you. The girls made me this gorgeous Mother's Day present. So they made this with Sarah um, with string art and they painted all the background, uh, tonic glitter. And then they glued these flowers on, isn't it pretty? So I thought it was really pretty. We're gonna put this up around the house. So that was my Mother's Day present. And I got some lovely Lindor truffles as well. So I'm gonna stand that up there. So that was my Mother's Day present this morning. And Greg has told me he's gonna take me to Kate Spade to get some more earrings. No, so, you yes, told you me I was taking you to Kate Spade. <laughs> well, he forgot. So I said, you can owe me a pair of Kate Spade earrings. So that was the deal. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. Anyway, so let's see who we have joining us. So Darlene is here and Dee, Julie, Tori, Donna, Catherine, uh, Sandy's here, Anne, and lots of you joining in as well. So welcome everyone, say happy Mother's Day, happy Sunday. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we recently did a giveaway in Stump Junkies on Facebook. It's a great group. If you're not already part of the group, hop on over and join. Um, tons of inspiration, giveaways, all those kinds of fun things. Anyway, it's not my group. It's uh, not affiliated with us, but it is a fun group to be in. Um, but we did a giveaway and they asked, what would you like to see over on Hedgehog Hollow? And lots of people going, there's all sorts of comments. We're working our way through them. But an incredibly popular one was how to use foil, hints, tips, all those kind of things. So we're going to do a lot of videos on foil because it was one of the most popular options. But I thought in today's craft together we could use foil. And we contacted Thermaweb. They sent me a few things to play with. I do have a rather extensive foil collection anyway. If you saw last week's all about my stamp collection, you'd have seen my foil drawer. Um, but they also gave us a 20% off coupon for our Perks members. They do do a coupon every single month, but what I told them, we're gonna do one of our craft togethers on foil because somebody wanted to see it. And so, well, this month, we'll do a 20% off coupon for Perks members, which is just awesome. So um, if you don't know about our Perks program, you can hit a join button um, underneath the video. It says subscribe. Um, and then next to that it says join. Now, depending on your device, it might not say that. So I'm gonna paste the um, join button into the chat as well, she says, if she can work out how to use a Windows computer. <laughs> because I always do the chat on Greg's computer because my computer runs the live. So I paste it into the chat as well. You can get 20% off at Thermaweb if you spend over $25. And then they also have a free shipping coupon that you can stack on top of that if you spend over $50. Uh, you can get 10% off at Elizabeth Craft or $5 off a $25 slash 25 euro order, depending where you're based. You can get 10% uh, off at Hedgehog Hollow for our subscription boxes. You can get, I do have these all listed out because there are so many coupon codes in there. You can get 10% off your total order at Tonic Studios and occasionally do a 20% flash sale. You can get 15% uh, off the embellishments and mediums, free shipping over at Sunny Studios, 15% off at the Ranger Ink store, which is just amazing. Uh, trust me, I use that one a lot. Uh, Pink and Main give you free shipping, Arteza 10% off. Um, you also get a Hedgehog Hollow birthday card. You get an um, exclusive early access to all of our content. So I know lots of you get frustrated when you watch our videos and you go and everything's sold out when you can watch our videos early. So that doesn't happen to you. Uh, you also get uh, $5 off all of our mystery boxes. So when we do our mystery boxes, you get an extra $5 off and you get to ship uh, shop them early, uh, way before everybody else. You can pick those out first. Um, you also get your badge. So you see people who are green with a little badge, you get that. You get custom emojis, 
And then you also get a few, oh, you get 10% off at Ellen Hudson all month long, not just the uh, few days that the non-members get it. So lots and lots of reasons to join. But today we're focusing on that 20% off from Thermaweb. And everything I'm gonna use in today's video is linked in the video description below. And welcome Sandy, I just saw it pop up. So welcome Sandy to being a Hedgehog Hollow member. It is really good fun. And um, you can go to Hedgehog Hollow, uh, youtube.com slash Hedgehog Hollow and you will find, um, there's a little tab that says community. Once you become a member, if you click on that, you will see uh, all the posts, so you can see all the exclusive content, all the coupon codes there. I think it's the fourth post down is now the uh, coupon codes. Or you can go to Facebook. If you search Hedgehog Hollow channel members, then you'll also be able to join that group. Do answer the three questions we ask you. It helps us approve you much quicker. And then you can access the coupon codes. The exclusive content also gets posted there because I know that sometimes Facebook groups are easier than that community will. So that's all the information for you. Uh, Darlene's just joined us as well. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. Uh, Astra just joined us too. So hello everyone, welcome. Now, talk about working with foil. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, Greg and I did a happy hour working with foil. And these are a couple of the samples we made. We still had tons and tons of, oh yeah, happy Mother's Day, Greg. We've done this all day. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> um, these are a couple of the samples we made. And I'm gonna go over some of the questions you had, some more hints and tips, all of those kinds of things. Okay, so let's talk about foil. Now there are two different types of foil. Here I have my Thermaweb collection. Now, this is just my Deco foil collection. I also have a lot of the Gina K foil mates. I do have a little bit of a foil problem. We're not gonna tell Greg how much this costs per tube. You're not gonna tell Greg that bit. But I have linked up where you can 20 get- 20% off though, right? 20% off, exactly. I got mine 20% off. Um, but yes. <laughs> And in a tube, you get five sheets. So each tube contains five sheets. I'll get these out in a second. You can see the variety of colors. You can then also get Gina K foil mates. Again, links are always in the video description for you. And if you are a Hedgehog Hollow member, 20% off for the whole month of May. Yes, we're in May. Um, over at Thermaweb. And if you spend over $50, then you also get free shipping stacked on top of that, all the codes in the member area. But you can um, use this and this is a heat toner activated foil. This is different to the foil that you would use in your Spellbinders hot glimmer system or in your Gemini foil transfer system. This is not that foil. So you can't use this foil in that system and you can't use that foil in this system. They are different types of foil. This is similar to your mink foils. So if you have a mink machine, you can use this in your mink machine, it will work. Um, it will also work with any other kind of toner um, thing. So if you have a toner printer and you want to print something off, you can foil it with this foil. So that's the difference between those two different um, foils. <laughs> Dee's laughing at us, I think. <laughs> and Darlene would like to come and play in my craft room for a day. Maybe that's a prize one day you get to come and play in the craft room for a day. Um, but yes, so they're the different types of foil. You get the toner activated foils like this, and they will also work with some types of adhesive, which I'm gonna cover in this video. And then you get the um, heat only activated foils, which don't need any kind of adhesive properties. And they're the ones you use in your Spellbinders, your Gemini system, and I, I know there's other systems out there, but they're the two that I use. Um, so that's the difference. But the Deco foil comes in all these different colors. Well, they go back in their packet and you can see it also comes in patterns so you have things like this which are rainbows all the way along you have things like this which is the shattered glass effect you have items like this which are more like a tortoiseshell idea and uh, there's also um, holographic ones like this that have stars inside uh, there's Brutus Monroe ones that have um, textures in them. Again, you can check out those links in the description. There's the Gina K ones, or there's watercolory ones, which are like this. You can see they have kind of like a watercolor effect in. Uh, the Gina K ones have look, look like they have sequins in. All of those are gonna work with all the techniques that I show you today. So these are gonna work with all of those. 
Um, they also work with the alcoholic techniques I've shown you in the past. We have like the mother of pearl options. This one kind of has like a rainy mother of pearl option in it. So you have all of those different options in them. And all the techniques that I say I'm going to show you today work with this foil system as they will work with the mink and all of those systems. They don't work with the glimmer and the Gemini systems. So uh, what am I going to work with? Hmm. I'm going to pull out a shattered glass. I'm going to pull out some stars. I want something dark. I'm going to go for a rainbow. So I'm going to try and pull out a variety to show you some different options. And I'm going to go for dark blue. Okay, we're going to start with this. We might pull out some others. I do have, as I say, an entire drawer full of foil. Um, but all of these are interchangeable. They all work together. And the great thing with foil is it's really scrap happy. So if you keep all of your scraps of foil, you can absolutely use them up. You will never waste a scrap of foil, which I think is awesome. And that's a great thing about foiling. So we're going to start making some cards using foil mates because these are a really great way to kind of get a good introduction to foil. So foil mates, you can buy all sorts of different ones from ThermaWeb. They come with a piece of parchment in. If you need another piece, you can, of course, just use some from your stash. And they're pre-printed um, thin cardstock with one of two designs on. So you've got these two options in. And there are millions of designs available. Well, millions. Quite a few different designs available. Again, check the links in the description. All of this you can get with your Hedgehog Hollow 20% off discount. So I want to show you lots of ways to use foil, lots of different options. And I want to show you how versatile this is. And I've shown you before that you can use alcohol inks with your foil as well. And I'll do a separate video on that. But this is just like basic foiling techniques. Um, okay, do you have a preference whether I do straight dots or squiggly dots? The first person to comment, you can pick what I use. Um, so I'll wait for the first comment to come up. Uh, you're all saying how addictive foiling is. I know there's a little bit of a lag on the foiling, so I'm just gonna chat until you get to that point where I say whether you prefer the dots, straight dots or the squiggly dots. Someone said straight. Dee said straight, so we're gonna do straight. Okay. And the next person said squiggly. <laughs> we'll do straight for now. Okay. And then we're going to choose a um, pattern to do them in. I'm going to do something rainbow. So we can either use shattered glass or straight rainbow. Someone else can choose. We'll do a choose your supplies kind of video. Lots of people do these. So you can choose for this card. Um, kind of what I'm going to do, but the difference with these, and then I'll open one up and show you what you get inside of these two foils. Um, Someone said shattered, so we're going to open this up and I can show you what you get inside of one of these. So they come in tubes, which are really nice for storage. Oh, this one comes with a deco foil pen too. Okay. So this is what you get in a package and you get five sheets. Now the thing with the rainbow ones is you will notice that your five sheets are all slightly different. So when you buy a rainbow package, all of your sheets are slightly different. When you buy something that's a flat color, obviously your sheets are all the same. So you can see you get something slightly different. Okay, but you get a lot in a package. Um, I think a package is around about five bucks. So you're getting quite a lot in a package like this. So all you do when you're done is just roll it up nice and tight, just like this. It doesn't have to be particularly straight and you just slip it back in the tube and it's done and we'll add this one back in in a second and then all you're going to do you don't even really have to trim it because this is a pretty big uh, laminator is you're going to take your piece of cardstock you want the colored side up and you're going to pop it inside of your parchment paper now they give you a piece of parchment paper. That's not really gonna cover it enough for my liking. I'm gonna use, this is what I always use with my foiling, is I've bought these mink protectors. 
Um, I bought the mixed pack. Again, I've linked them up in the description for you. They come in multiple sizes. And I just find these are really, really easy to use. And they've covered my needs. I've had these for so many years. I couldn't count how many years I've had these for. Um, and they're reusable over and over. They look like laminator pouches, but they don't actually ever stick together like laminator pouches. And all you do is then just pop this through your thing and you just keep reusing this pouch over and over again. So all we're now going to do is pop this through our laminator, except my laminator doesn't say it's ready right now. Come on, Mr. Laminator. I cannot be ready, it's been there for ages. Well, it popped on and then it cools off a little bit and then you have to wait. So your laminator, you're gonna turn it on. I have mine on hot and you really want to wait for your green light to come on. Um, one thing you'll notice with laminators, so this one has been on for a little while, is they get ready and then they call off again and then they get ready and they call off again. Uh, so normally I use either the Amazon Basics Laminator or this is the Royal Sovereign one that um, ThermoWeb sent me. So I'm just gonna reset it, hoping that it quickly comes back up. Otherwise we'll plug in our Amazon Basics. In the meantime, I'm gonna tell you about some other things you can use for foil just while I wait for that to get back to temperature. Um, so foiling wise, you don't just have to use toner sheets. As I was saying, if you have a toner printer, you could print out any design you wanted. You don't have to just go and buy foil mates. It's nice that these are all pre-designed for you and printed on nice quality cardstock, all those kinds of things. Um, but you can create your own backgrounds too. They do a transfer gel. And if I open this up, I mean, it's exactly what you would expect. It's kind of like a stencil paste. And all you do is pop this through any stencil you want, just as normal, you know, grab your spatula, put it through a stencil, wait for it to dry. It will go kind of like a milky clear when it's dry and it will remain tacky. And then all you do, I don't know if it actually tells you what color it goes. It says let dry for one hour or completely clear. I find it goes not completely clear. It still has a slightly milky look to it. And then you cover with foil, put it through the laminator exactly as we're gonna do here. And then off you go. Um, and then that way you've created your own design. It also has a little bit of uh, thickness to it. So you can foil any stencil design you want with the transfer gel, which I think is super, super cool. So that's one option you have. You can also get the deco foil pens. Now the pens you can write with, again, you could go through a stencil with. Um, these, you can activate the tip, you know, like we were talking about glitter markers, you just press the tip down, activate exactly the same process, um, and it's just an adhesive pen, so you can do the same thing with these. And if you get it in the pack, they come with a replacement nib, so it'll last you forever to do those with. And then you have the same option again here. Um, you can also use this adhesive for the foil on fabrics. I'm just reading the instructions, I haven't used this one in a while. Um, but yeah, you just, Best results, apply liquid adhesive, excuse me, to surface. Let dry for one to two hours. Once dry, apply foil finish with iCraft deco foil transfer sheets. Let dry, that's it. So you can also do it liquid juicy, so you can draw with it. You could use this through a stencil, as you know, I use adhesive through stencils all the time. But again, you have all of these options to expand your foil. You don't just have to use toner sheets. You can print stuff with your own toner printer you can use transfer gel through any stencil. You can also stamp with these adhesive pens. I've used these on my stamp, stamp out, foil my stamp, off I go. Super, super simple. Um, and so there you go, ex you know, expanding the uses of your foil. How are we doing, Greg? I think it just has a very dull green light. Does it? All right, let's just try it. Oh, yeah, it does stay ready. It's just from an angle, I can't see it. Okay, so we're ready to go. So all I do, and it doesn't matter which way up you put this through, but it sucks it in. Greg moans about how slow this is, but you know, as we go. Well, it's not exactly quick, is it? All right, Greg, it takes its time. Slow, and, st slow and steady wins the race. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. When have you ever heard of anybody going slow and steady and winning? Tortoise and the hare. Mm. I'm the tortoise, you're the hare. Everyone just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. It's going, it's going. <laughs> Goes at my pace. I'm not that fast. Okay. So that's just going to feed its way through. And then we'll wait until it's done. 
and then I get to show you the fun part. I'm also going to do a sentiment as well. So we'll pick out a sentiment while it's feeding its way through. Because we're going to turn this into a card. So I know lots of you have asked me to turn these things into cards. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick one of these sentiments. Again, I've linked these up. These are a Gina K exclusive. You can only get the sentiments from Gina K. So I'm going to pick one of these out. We'll do a happy birthday. Because all of the birthday cards we've been sending out for the Hedgehog Hollow birthday are birthday cards that I have made. So this could be your birthday card if you are one of the Hedgehog Hollow Perks members. Yeah. Then, thank you dear. Then this could be your birthday card. So there's a good reason to sign up for the Hedgehog Hollow Perks program. How do I clean my stamp if I put adhesive on it? I clean it with isopropyl alcohol um, and then a stamp cleaner afterwards. So a good clean with isopropyl alcohol, stamp cleaner, done. Uh, worst case, a little bit of Dawn will go a long way. This feels a lot cooler than my Amazon one, but then my website works, so let's try it. So then you just take it out of your mink thing, as you can see, it's just completely reusable. Um, are we ready? Are you ready, Greg? I think so. See? I don't like this as much as my Amazon Basics. You can see it's adhered some of it, but it's not as hot as my Amazon Basics. See, I've it's never done, used this laminator before. It's no. done all of it. It's done it onto the spots and... It hasn't though, look. There's gaps. No, there's gaps. No, look at my, look at my, um, Dubri. Can you grab my laminator out, please, Greg? Where's your laminator? In the foil drawer, please. It's We're going back to our trusted Amazon Basics. There you go, that one. So typically, I use my Amazon Basics laminator. Um, and I have linked that in the video description for you as well, because I've never had an issue with laminating, or foiling, I should say, with my Amazon Basics laminator. Thermalweb did send me this one, so I'm gonna ask them if there is a setting or anything like that that we've not done right. Three mil or five mil? Five mil. Okay, it's on. Um, I'm gonna turn this one off. We'll put that one to the side. And just unplug it. Thank you, dear. It's great having an assistant. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> Um, so Sandy asked me, can I recommend a laminating machine for a beginner? Well, I have to say, Thermaware recommend the Royal Sovereign. I have always used this Amazon Basics one that Greg just plugged in for me. Uh, right here. Like this. So this is what I have always used. I had one in England, I bought the same one when we moved to America. And this little trusty machine has always served me well. I will ask Thermaware, maybe I did something wrong. Um, I don't know, maybe it was me. But we're going to use this one, and hopefully we're now going to get the perfect shattered glass rainbow on my uh, foiling. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, you can foil through any stencil, you can foil anything with adhesive, and you can foil the pen. So if you're really great at your brush lettering, I'm not, I'm still practicing, but you could foil your brush lettering using these deco foil pens, which I think is super cool. And of course you have so many different options with the foil and they do do toner sheets for Christmas, for birthdays, for men. The Brutus Monroe sheets are amazing for men too. They also do uh, deco foil uh, toner sheets uh, on acetate, which I also think are really cool because of course you can put them behind things and have some really interesting layers on your card too. Uh, so that works really well. But we're going to have a go with this. And then I'm going to show you how to use... So this is one that Greg and I did the other day. And I'm going to show you this technique. So this was the toner sheet. Greg, stop munching. Sorry. Did you really do me? <laughs> so this is one Greg and I did before. So this was the toner sheet. And then what you can do is you can use the reverse of the toner sheet um, to use up your scraps. So you could use up your scraps on another project or you can create two cards at once this way, which is what I'm gonna show you to do today. So that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm also gonna take a second sentiment. Oh. oh, is it done? No. Greg got all excited. I did, it kind of ticks and made a noise and I thought it was warm. It was so I'm gonna do two happy birthdays. In a minute. 
and we'll pick our happy birthday colour. We'll do the silver stars on top. God, these are a bit stiff to get out today. I didn't have my Weetabix for breakfast. Honey. Mm. Must be good having an assistant. It really is good having an assistant. I'll do it all for you. I'm going to get in trouble for that later. Oh, don't break your teeth. <sighs> Work though. There you go, laminate is ready. Thank you dear. Okay, so whilst we're getting ready for the next bit, I'm going to send this through, like this. Is this one faster? No, they all work slowly dear. Slow and steady wins the race, we've been through this. It's not exactly quick, is it? Oh, Greg, <laughs> for goodness sake. So impatient. <laughs> I think the other nice thing is Thermoweb always include a piece of parchment. I mean, yes, of course, you can just you know, use a piece of parchment on your own, or you can use those mink pieces, which is by preference. But I do like that they include parchment in everything. They kind of think of all those things. So we'll do this next. And what I'm going to use is my Thermoweb purple tape, my little tape dispenser, to just stick these ones in place. My big piece. Just so they don't move all around. It's all right, Greg, it's done. Okay. So, uh, I got a great deal of mink, so someone bought that. The Amazon Basics, does it take thick laminating pouches? Yes, it does. It takes your three or your five mil, which are the thick ones. Um, is the mink similar to the Amazon? Yes, it is. It's just a lot, lot cheaper because it doesn't have mink written on it. Um, sorry for the slow laminate. It's great. It just... I want a quick one. Could the mink carrier be too thick? No, this is just designed... This is just like a laminator pouch. Um, right, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. That's better. That's much better. So you can see now. That is very pretty, actually. Isn't that really pretty, the shattered glass? It's much, much prettier. So you get this really kind of pretty shattered holographic background. And then you can see you've got patterns on your um, foil sheets. They're the words I'm looking for. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send another one through because I want a really strong pattern on my foil sheet, like we had on our butterflies. So I'm going to grab out another Dubri What's It foil mate. I haven't got words today. I don't know what's up with me. What's up with me, Greg? It's pretty normal, isn't it? Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <sighs> Anywho. So we're going to do the squiggly one, for those of you who wanted to see the squiggly one. But the great thing with foiling is that piece of foil is not a waste at all. It's not green. Well, I'm just going to send it through. And I'll send it through twice. Um, so this piece of foil I can use so many times. So when I foil through a stencil, I'll use it when I foil and I just can keep moving it to keep picking up the pattern. When I foil through um, on alcohol inks, I'll be using it. Actually, let's do some foiling through a stencil, Greg. Do you want to pick a stencil? Yeah, it's not the best stencil, but okay. Do you want a different one? Mine? Yeah, let's try that one. And I need a piece of watercolor paper. This one? Yep. Look at you. I know my stuff. Some of it. Brownie point. Oops. Do I get one? Yeah. Yay! Brownie <laughs> point. Do this you, you should see a the dance I get behind the camera. You can't all see this. <laughs> um, so someone said they got an Amazon Basics for $8.99 on Cyber Monday. That's amazing. 
but yeah the Amazon basic one is really pretty so this wasn't up to temperature so I'm going to send it through twice just to be safe because it's not going to burn it so you can never kind of have a problem so I'm just going to hold this down I'm going to put a little bit of the liquid through this is that stencil gel I was telling you about less is more and no I have not used pixie spray so I may live to regret that I'm going to give that to Greg. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realise why you were giving it to me. It's icky. <laughs> oh. Of course it's icky. I just put goo on it. Well, that's the bit I wasn't paying attention to. <laughs> okay. Yes. So. I'm just. So I have put my stencil gel through. And I'm going to start helping it along with a little bit of heat, gentle heat, I'm going to say. And we'll put it to the side. Craig, it's not like got leprosy or something on it. <laughs> I've got nowhere to put the gooey thing. Okay, so we'll start to let this to dry. I'm going to give it some heat to give it a helping hand and we'll keep talking and we'll hope that it's dry by the end of the live okay so i'm gonna put it to the side for now um so yeah i was using just the tonic silicone spatulas they're really great because you can get them clean you saw how easy that was to clean up you can give it a really nice scrape on the side and also get your stencil pretty clean despite what greg just reacted to um and it also allows you to lower the waste as well um so this is my squiggly one, and so doo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, look how pretty that is. I mean, isn't that awesome? I mean, absolutely perfect, all in one, so, so easy. And I also have that really nice, strong pattern on the back of my foil, which is what I wanted to be able to show you how to use the reverse of that. So that's what I kind of wanted. So what we're going to do is we're going to now end up with something with all the shattered glass, but with this pattern missing. So for that, you're going to need the toner sheets. Again, links in the video description and a reminder that our Hedgehog Hollow Perks members can get 20% off of all of their ThermoWeb purchases until the end of May. So sign up for be a Perks member. There's tons of savings there, including 10% off at Tonic, 15% off at Ranger, um, but this 20% off at Thermoware, and you can get all your foils, all of your, um, all of your deco foil things, all of your toner sheets, the laminators, uh, the gels, everything. You can get all of that money off. So all I've done is I've taken the black toner sheet which is a thick carbon with toner all over it. The foil, again, colours side up on the foil. And then I'm just going to put it through. Mine's just timed out on the thing again. But anyway, I'm going to keep talking to you whilst that's going on. We're also, in a second, we're going to um, then put our sentiments through. So if your laminator isn't quite up to heat, because what laminators do is they heat up and then they sometimes just, the th temperature just clocks off. I just pop it through twice because you're never going to burn it and best case scenario is you just get perfect coverage uh, so I just let it go through twice you're not going to do it any harm and I'm a better safe than sorry crafter so in the meantime whilst that's going through I'm just going to keep um, putting some heat on my gel so that it dries quicker so that I can also show you how cool it is that you can add foil to all of your stencils. So all of a sudden you have a way to stretch your stencils even further. I mean, how cool is that gonna be? So you know I'm a stencil junkie. You know I have tons and tons of stencils already. Well, now I'm gonna be able to do even more with those stencils to add a foil onto them. So I'm just gonna heat these up. Greg, could you just run that through again when it gets through? Just to make sure. Thank you. Do I get another brownie point? No, not for putting in the laminator. I think anyone can manage that. <laughs> okay, so this one's nearly dry too, so we'll do this in a second as well. Um, so lots and lots of ways to do this, lots of ways to stretch out your foil, lots of ways to save money, of course, as well. Um, tons and tons going on. So lots of our Perks members joining as well. So 
I'm just going to pop this back in my tube. And all the scraps, as I say, save all your foil scraps. You will use every single foil scrap up. They are, there's never a reason to throw a, small, a foil scrap away, even if it's like this big. You will use it on a sentiment, you'll use it on an alcohol inked piece, you'll use it on something. It's just so versatile and a really low waste craft. Okay. It's still coming. It's not exactly quick, remember? Oh, okay. Someone asked, what's up with the brownie points? Will he get something if he gets enough? No, so the deal with the brownie points, I should mention, is that there was a thing a long time ago that Greg got me, this was before we were married, Greg got me an award of the best girlfriend of the year. And we used to say that Ron won best boyfriend of the year, which was reopen nominations. That was always the joke. And so every year he tries to beat his score from the previous year, that one day he might win husband of the year, but I've never had wife of the year award. Even when we moved to America, I did all the admin for the visas, we happened to buy a house on an international mortgage, none of that worked. I opened Hedgehog Hollow, I won awards for Hedgehog Hollow, still didn't get wife of the year award. So I don't know what it takes to win wife of the year award when I won girlfriend of the year award, but you know, here's hoping. Who knows? So that's the deal with um, <laughs> that's the deal with that for those who ask. I never even won boyfriend of the year award. So. Well, Ron did. <laughs> okay, so this is the deal with using up the scraps this way. Okay, so when I peel this back, this is the effect using toner sheets. See, isn't that cool? So you get the whole shattered glass pattern, and just this dotty piece that we used is what's missing. So you can see that way. So there's a different way to use up your scraps. And I really like the fact that you can see all of that shattered glass effect because yes, it's really cool on this one. You have all of that, but you have, um, you don't see the whole kind of shattered glass effect, but you do see it on this one here. Um, Alex, are you nominated for wife of the year award this year? I don't know. Am I Greg? You're in the running. Oh, I'm in the running. I'm in the running. Okay, so what I will do is I will keep this scrap and it will go in my little tube. And then this scrap I probably won't keep because as you can see, I've used pretty much everything on that one. So, ah, oh, Sally says she's gonna give me the niece of the ward a year. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. <laughs> my girlfriend of the year award isn't in here. I think it's in the basement. I think it's in my other studio. Okay, so now we're going to run through our sentiments. So again, I've just put them on the stars. I tape them to the back just so that they don't move around. And we'll run them through. And then we're going to run through our stencil paste because that's nice and dry now. You can see I can touch it. Um, and then we're going to have some glittery... Um, Rain. So this is the Simon Hurley Raindrop Stencil and we're going to add um, some foil to that. Someone said how do I store my scraps? I store them in with the colours so that you know if I'm going through my supplies the only ones I store slightly differently is if um, for instance I've gone to a class and they give you a piece of foil I have those loose in my drawer um, there's a whole pile of them in my drawer I don't know if Greg's brave enough to show you that drawer but um, I have them loose in the drawer, just a few. You see, next drawer down, you see on the left, there's some kind of scraps in there, underneath the Rebecca Meyer foil. There's a little bit neat, uh, there's only a couple. But yeah, there's some there's scraps in there. Um, in there's some scraps in there. What kind of raindrops do you want, Greg? Blue. Any kind of blue? Mm -hmm. Would you want like purple rain? I don't know. There's a song about that, isn't there? Yes, that's why I said it. See? Pop culture reference from me! <laughs> Craig's like, holy cow, what's going on? Or I can do like pearlescent. Someone said about pearlescent. I don't know, there's too many options. I feel like overwhelmed with options. There's also a really pretty watercolour one, which I had out earlier. 
These are your options, Greg. Which would you like on your raindrops? Good, that one. I like that one. Okay. okay. Right, so let's just. Alright, so I'm going to get this one set up and then I can show you my sentiments. And then we're going to make two, four cards. I only have three pieces of black velvet. Grab a fourth one. Oh. So I have my black velvet all pre-cut over here, but we'll have to cut another one. But I'm going to take another piece out here. So this one's really pretty. You can see this is the one that Greg selected for our raindrops. So I'm going to do this. And then, as I say, you just curl it up nice and tight, but just don't release the curl until you put it back in your tube. Um, so just hold it nice and tight, pop it in and then release, super easy, and then we'll be ready to go. And then don't confuse your black velvet with your toner sheets because that wouldn't be good. And then a piece of white, and so I'm going to cut this down to four by five and a quarter. Um, and then I'm also going to start trimming down my toner pieces. But I'm going to I'm going to keep putting things through the laminator so that we can keep this process going. But this is going to produce four cards at once. I mean, look how cool! So these are our sentiment pieces. So we have a happy birthday in that holographic, and we have another happy birthday in the holographic. I also have a piece of toner sheet that I got ready. And I'm just going to trim this because we're going to create the reverse of these on our toner sheets. Let me get that over here. And I'm going to pop this onto my toner sheet. And we're going to run this through. So this is that piece of foil that had my happy birthdays on. And this is the toner sheet, not black velvet, because it does look very similar. And so I'm gonna create my happy birthdays, but in reverse. So I'm gonna use up that piece. And so at once we're gonna create four cards just from creating this, so super simple. So I'm gonna cut these pieces down. I'm just gonna trim off that kind of raggedy edge on each end. Um, cut that off there. And so I want this piece to be three and three quarters wide and three quarters and three and three quarters and then five inches and five inches and the same on this one mm. Three and three quarters and three and three quarters. Okay. So you can see how this is coming together and we're gonna have you run that through again because this keeps clocking off a temperature so I'm slightly conscious of that. I'm just gonna peel my tape off, peel my tape off. Okay. We do with a nice circle punch, but I don't have one, so I'm going to fussy cut these. Of course, you could run them through your scan and cut or similar. I'm just going to use my Tim Holtz scissors and hopefully be as steady as I can. One thing you'll find when you're fussy cutting is don't move the scissors, move the cardstock. So keep you can see how my hand's staying still, and my left hand is moving the cardstock. Um, you'll find you get a much better fussy cut, you'll be less wiggly. So that's what I'm doing with this one. Um, I can't talk on fussy cut very well. I kind of lose my concentration. Any questions, Greg? Uh, does the foil get scratched off being in your jaw? No. It doesn't, does it? It's fine. It's not because you need an adhesive or a toner or something to stick to it. So no, you need something for it to stick to first. 
Uh, Joseph says, for some reason when I hear Black Velvet, I want to burst into song. Are you the same? No. <laughs> purple Rain I do. For some reason, I've now got Purple Rain stuck in my head, the chorus. <laughs> so yeah, when you're fussy cutting, don't move your scissors, move the paper. I'm sorry, I'm concentrating. Do you have a musical interlude, Greg? <laughs> you should get Greg to sing. Uh, that wouldn't go well. There we go. It's two of those cut out. And now I'm going to send through those raindrops with foil. So I'm going to take that and this and this and this and this and this and I'm put that through there. So this was the toner sheet where we put those two happy birthdays. So this was the reverse of this. Are we ready? So now you have two extra sentiments. Isn't that cool? So now I'm going to get rid of my rubbish. And again, I'm gonna fussy cut these out super quick. Um, you could of course put them through your scan and cut if you've got one. Um, and you have it set up. If I was sitting here card making for myself, that might be what I did. Anything else, Greg? Nope, lots of people moaning at you for not singing. Nope, you don't <laughs> want to hear that? Do they, Greg? I would recommend not. Very neat fussy cutting there. Thank you, not bad for a circle. Do with a circle punch. I think we could do with a faster laminator. Greg, they don't go any faster. I know. Why don't you engineer one, Greg? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Yes, dear. Okay. And I will also keep this piece of the toner sheet. So I'm going to just trim that off. And Somebody asked, so you use toner sheets as your cardstock? So yeah, this is the, I'll just do this so you can see the packaging. So this is the peel and stick toner sheet. The toner sheet actually has sticky on the reverse of it, so it's already pre-adhesive. You can also die cut it, but basically it has that toner that we use to stick the this pretty pattern on it, it has that all over. So you can use the negative of that pattern to stick it all over. The other thing I could do is I could take this and yeah, I could take, say this pretty pink color. There we go. So you can see on here, so you see where I've got the stars adhered in that happy birthday pattern. And then you see I've got the black. So everything that's black is showing is toner. So I can make that sticky. I'm just gonna send my teardrops through again. But what I can do is I can make everything that's black into another color because that's still toner that's showing. So I can take this. I'm going to stick it onto here just because when I have small pieces I like to stick them down. Now the heat is going to make the um, what's on the foil stick to this piece of tape but that doesn't harm anything it's going to be fine. But what I'll do is instead of having um, black and silver this one will be pink and silver and I could do the same on here. So where you see I've got these black swirls I could make these swirls bright silver um, I could take that stars and I could turn those into silver swirls. We can try that too. So whilst I'm making these cards, I can do some things in between. So you can see. And of course, everything you order until the end of May, if you're a Perks member, 
will be 20% off. So you could save yourself a ton of money on all of this foiling as well. Um, so let's take out our raindrops. I'll pop this one in. And I'll pop this one in. Now to become a Perks member, there are tons of reasons to not join, not just the 20%, there's 15% off a Ranger, 10% off a Tonic, 10% <coughs> off Elizabeth Craft, $5 off purchases, free shipping at Sunny Studios, free shipping at Pink and Main, 10% off at Hedgehog Hollow. The list kind of goes on and on and on and on and on. Early access to our content, birthday card from the Hollow, you know, the usual deal. Um, it costs $4.99 a month to join and those benefits pay for themselves so quickly. We need to have to spend $25 at ThermoWeb and you would pay for that already. So I'm gonna start sending this through. And so here is my rain. So that was that special stencil paste. That's that transfer gel that I put through the Simon Hurley raindrop stencil. And all I'm gonna do is, if you are ready, do, 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 do. there's my raindrops. Isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. Do you like it, Greg? No, it's lovely, yeah. See, wouldn't that really make well. a really pretty background? I think it'd be awesome. And the thing that you could do now is you could take some of those Simon Hurley inks and you could do your ink smushing on your palette area and then you could, you know, put your cardstock down in it and create a fun background in the background with the stencil. And anywhere that you foiled is gonna resist the ink because it's a dye-based ink, so it would act like a resist. And you'd have a really, really awesome background. So I think that's super cool. Um, so that's that. And then of course you could use this piece on a toner sheet and use that up as well. So that's that. I'm gonna send this through a second time. I don't know, now I've got foil fear. I'm gonna call that a real thing. Okay, so we're gonna keep making our cards. I did grab some card bases, I don't know where I put them. Here they are, did I grab four? I need one more, Greg, please. Right, thank you. That's not a card base, is it? No, that's a different way, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so these are Nina Solar White card bases, scored in half, and I buy mine pre-done from scrapbook.com, linked in the description because I'm lazy, but it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm using my tonic bone folder, score in half, of course, if you're a Perks member, you can save. 10% off our tonic and sometimes they even do those 20% flash sales for us. Okay, so here's our card bases. Here's my black velvet pieces, which I've already cut to four inches by five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna layer all my card bases up because, okay, well, that one's done. That needs a refill, but I grabbed two more ready because I was doing a video, so of course it was gonna run out. Okay. Now, whenever I layer a card base, as you know, have them flat, even Greg repeats this now. And then if you do three sides, even your fourth one does itself. So here is a way to make four cards quickly and easily. So by the time I've done this, I will have four birthday cards. So if your birthday is coming up, this might be your Hedgehog Hollow birthday card if you are a Perks member. Who knows? Here we go. So there's my four card bases. Here's the ones I showed you that I was gonna put through. So, this is that happy birthday that was on a toner sheet. So now this one has pink on it. So this was the one that had the black. This is the one that had the pink. So you can cover that in. And then this is the swirl that had the black beforehand. Can you see that, Greg? I know the reflection is kind of weird because of the 
shattered glass. And then on this one we added the stars. And so now this one has the swirls that have silver in. So you can see there how that works. And of course, the great thing about this is it starts the process over. So from one toner sheet, if I now added this to a toner sheet, I would have like this again. And so like the process just keeps going over. I could add this to a toner sheet and then create this again. And so the process just keeps going over and over and over. So from one like foil mate, you can just keep creating your own sheets over and over and over by just recreating the negatives all the time. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so now we have all of our card bases. We have four sentiments that we've made super easy. And now we can just start adhering these on as well. So the next layers I'd already pre-cut down earlier when we were sending things through the laminator. Three and three quarters by five inches again. Any more questions, Greg? No, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm just adding all of these on. And a black matting layer is super easy. It just makes your cards look really nice. It offsets things, particularly if you have all white like this. You find it just kind of adds a little bit of something to your cards. And then this one. Now you should make Greg talk because he's just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should now make Greg talk. That would be me. Okay, so now we have our four card bases assembled. You see? See how quickly these are coming together? I'm going to grab, Greg, could you grab me my Gina K foams out that top left drawer? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use these Gina K foam squares. These are also from Thermoweb. These are really nice because, this must be a new one. The only thing is, when you get a new packet of these, don't be afraid because it takes all of that. There you go. Um, all of that before you actually get a foam square out. And the first time I did it, I was like pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling. I'm like, are these squares just coming off inside the box? Or is this me? But no, they, it really does take that many before they um, start coming out. But then, I've messed it up. There you go. Then they have this little dispenser and they just come off in the corner, which is really easy. So we can just pull off. I'm going to put two on the back of each circle oh we got two new members oh welcome j max g and welcome katie yay cool happy mother's <laughs> day if appropriate fur baby or two-legged baby or other um I just messed this up. Oh, Greg, I messed it up. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Let's start today again. Okay. So, and then you can decide where you want to put your sentiment. So, you can also do them different orientations. So, I'm going to do one this way. Oh, Katie's already gone green and she's already got her uh, green badge. That's really good. They're doing it way quicker than they used to. I think YouTube have uh, fixed a couple of issues that they had there. Okay, so I'm going to do one this way. I'm going to do one. I'm going to leave the silver. Can you use the leftover on something else or only on the black printed paper? You can use the leftovers on all sorts of things. So you can use it on your alcohol inks. You could use it on another, like one of these and just move it around a couple of times, that would work. You can use it on the stencil pieces, you can use it on adhesive, that's a whole other video that we're gonna do. So this was purely just using the foil with a laminator. Um, we're gonna do another video on using foil with adhesives. Um, you can also, thank you dear. 
Always need a craft pick. Thank you. All right, you can have another brownie point. Yay! Two in a day. <laughs> oh, we got to record this one day. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'm going to turn the camera on you. Um, Nobody gets a video of my brownie point dance. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> one day I'm going to set up the iMac camera so I can just flick it on. Um, he's like, oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> and then... Um, you can also use it on your alcohol inks. We'll do a whole video on that. So we're going to do lots of videos on foil because tons of people asked us about foil. It was one of the most requested subjects when we did that Stamp Junkies giveaway. Um, but here you go. Look, we've just created four cards from one sheet. So we have this one. And I did them different ways too. So I did some this way up, like this. And I did some this way up. So you can change them up so they all look a little bit different. But you can see that. Yeah. I need to firm them up with my bone folder, but that'll be easy in a second. Here, I'll stand them up too. But that was just really, really easy. So yeah, that was one sheet of the foil veins and we have made four cards from it. And that was two sheets of foil and then half a sheet of the toner. And that's it, four cards, super simple. I know I've showed you some other things in between and stuff, um, and we've talked about some other stuff too, but that's how easy it is to use the foil with the laminator. I mean, I love it. So hopefully you have found that useful. As I say, there you can also use this same foil with adhesive. That's a whole other video we'll do coming up. We're also going to talk about how to use foil with um, alcohol inks and then maybe some other ways you can use foil as well. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, thank you so much for joining us here at Hedgehog Hollow. Don't forget to become a member and save 20% off at your ThermaWeb purchase. Links as always in the video description. If you're watching on a mobile device, you might have to hit the arrow in the bottom right hand corner to expand that description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and give us a thumbs up for today's video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for spending some of your day with us here at Hedgehog Hollow. I'll be back tomorrow with another video and it might be a tip, trick, tutorial, or maybe something a little bit different. You never know what it could be. I'll see you then. Happy crafting. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone. See you soon. Bye.